Do we fall asleep? Silly. I haven't been to a Vortex Club party in like two days. I need to go back. Oh, she's still awake. She did say she wouldn't fall asleep. <coughs> I cannot believe we fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. Oh, I know she you did. were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I don't know I what that see means. Wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry. I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Let's score some morphine. Morphine is pretty dope. I mean, I've been in the hospital a few times and had to use it, and it's it's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, uh -oh. this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. And because I've been in the hospital oh, multiple sure. times, that's great. They went finally to Paris, went to really? Paris. Oh, I can talk to someone about that, I guess. Victoria, what do you want? Max, are we cool? Just want to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan no, was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me at K. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. Oh, good. Thanks. But yeah, I took the medical bills I have are just ridiculous. Like still after multiple years after having surgeries and stuff, I still have to deal with it and it ruins my life. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Who's that guy in that picture? Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's weird. Okay, uh, let's look. These this. whales are just a These preview whales. of the tornado Angels. to come. Okay, Rachel down. Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. No, you just changed, like, the worst shit. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Mm. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys. Financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> 
I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? He's such a dad. He's such a lame dad, you know? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh. I don't even like to think about it. Doesn't work at the diner anymore. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Probably will be the last time, let's be honest. You really think that we're not gonna do that? No change, change to spare it? anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Yeah, I'm not gonna look too much into this shit. Um, any messages? Nope. Think it would just be insurance and shit, right? All right, mail. It's probably just bills. We don't need to look at all that sad stuff. Okay. Well, this is Chloe's old room, or her former room, I guess. Whatever. Ugh. Oh, it's so empty and desolate. There, there's nothing even really in here. Is there? What's this letter? I never heard much about William's brother. William has a brother? Uh, so he sent a check. Hang in there, Billy, your brother Aaron. Maybe that was that picture. Oh. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Where'd she get? They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Oh God, sadly hopeful. Uh, no go. Another Too letter. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Uh. Can't help you with a loan at this time, like everybody else. I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Amen. All right. So, thanks a lot, Aunt Dorothy. You bitch. Morphine, morphine, morphine. Probably too dark for me to interact, so let's switch that on. Uh, morphine. Where would you keep morphine? It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. Mm. No prescriptions. Oh, it's in here. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Well, it should be in there. Here Aha! It is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yep, scoring that good shit. Shall we go in their room? Hmm, we'll just take a peek. I guess. Are there any birds in here? Oh, Joyce oh, is in here. So nice to have you around. Oh, another letter. Oh no. 
I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Spinal center. Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. Recent anemia and loss of breath. I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Uh, be prepared for any and all possibility. Chloe sh should also be made aware of her, of her changing condition. Blah, 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 I can't talk. All right. Well, just keeps getting worse and worse. Let's talk to Joyce. Oh, yeah, she's smoking now. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. I mean, can you blame her? I'd be stressed as fuck. Joyce is already a super mom. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she, she, do you know what I'm saying? No, oh, Joyce, I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except... Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I already party with him now. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. A bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, I'm lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. So much talking. So much sad. So much just, ugh. You can't keep it like this. And Chloe's dying. Come to find out. I bet she probably wants it that way, to be honest. If, if it were me, oh, I would. I would not want to live like that. Ever. Sir, you are screwed. Oh, she's got a salt lamp. Ooh, it's so cute. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. 
I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Alright, let's look at my photos again. Whee! There you go. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn the page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could... There she goes. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Oh, yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Look at her. Now listen, I already said it, but if I were in the same situation, so just in case you guys happen to hang out with me and watch Blade Runner and I ask you to crank up the shit to 11, do it because she's dying anyway. She doesn't want to live like this, and neither would I, so of course I'm going to help. Besides, we're going to change history anyway. You can tell. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think.
is gone. Oh, we can. Okay, sorry, now William. we're gonna fix it. Sorry, William, you're gonna die again. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. It's rough, no like knowing, Max wine tasting knowing you're leaving him, Don't letting him go to die. Your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with. But it's gotta happen. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving. That makes all of us. It's just the way things have to be sometimes, which is fucked up, but. Max, you're being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. All right, time to go back. Great, my dog's fucking around. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. Rachel? I'm guessing it's Rachel. Who would ever take a picture like that? That's so sad. Oh, maybe it was just, it was just a moment. That's not an actual... I'm, I'm stupid. These are just moments in time. 